Welcome to Kids Market. I'm Kismet. This is Big Daddy. And today we got Video Games Month. That's right, Video Games Monthly for September 2018. Yeah, it's a subscription service with classic video games. You tell them what systems that you have and what games that you have so they don't send you ones you already have. It's awesome. Let's see what we got, all right? Okay. Oh, I love it. They always send you something. We got a great one last time. Let's see what we get this time. And it's, oh, you're going to love this. Sunglasses. What? Yeah, you love sunglasses. Check those out. Hi, you. <laughs> All right, let me see. Got a little protection on them. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, I'm going to break them. Here, you go ahead and tie them on. What's up, yo, yo, yos? Oh, that's awesome. That's exactly what you needed, huh? If there's a yo yo on this old shirt, you do this. I don't think that's the same kind of yo yo. But anyway, that's awesome. That's a great way to start off. And let's see, we've always got, oh, I think it's some of your favorite bubble wrap. Yay! Okay, that's enough. Hey! All right, let's get into the good stuff. Uh, Video Games Monthly, we hope you enjoy it. We always enjoy this stuff, don't we? Yeah. All right, there we go. All right, let's see. First game feels like Nintendo? Switch. No. RBI uh, Baseball. Baseball? Baseball on the Nintendo. If you notice, it's a different kind of cartridge than the other Nintendo games, right? Is this even for the Game Genie? No, it looks like the Game Genie that we have, but it's not. This is made by a company called Tangent. And a long time ago, there was a bunch of stuff online if you want to read about it, but there was another company that was producing Nintendo games without the Nintendo seal of approval. There you go. It has eyes. <laughs> no, not eyes. quite. But it's actually one of the best baseball games on the Nintendo. That's awesome. Love that game. All right. Ready for the next one? Yeah. Let's see what we got. Feels like another Nintendo game in here. Maybe. Yeah. <gasps> Defenders of the Crown. Actually, Defender of the Crown. I'm sorry. Arcade game that they made on the Nintendo. Yeah, this is awesome. This is about wizards and warriors and princesses and castles. It's Ultra! Yeah, Ultra's a company that made it. They did, they did quite a number of these kind of games. I can't remember, but this kind of reminds me of another game I played. I used to get confused all the time. What was it? Deadly Towers or something like that. They were both medieval kind of games. I played them a lot with my brother. We had a good time with them. I think there's going to be another one that you're really going to enjoy. That, wait, that's not a dragon. That's a horse. Oh no, that's a knight riding a horse. Yeah, It'd be lots of knights. I don't remember if there's a dragon in this one or not. If there's a dragon and that's the final boss, that's fire and ice. I would totally play that. I'm sure you would. All right, that's awesome. That's another great game. Wow, right, we're hitting it out of the park. We're only two games in. Let's see what we got. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Alright, feels like a Super Nintendo game. Changing it up a bit, it looks like. And we got, we got Star Fox. That's our mama's favorite games. Yeah, it is. It sure. Man, this is like in beautiful shape. This is like one of the best, and then one of the best top selling games on the Super Nintendo. And we were even talking about this last time when we got, what was it? F Zero. Yeah. That's right. When we got F Zero, we were confusing some of the characters. Uh, this is like a 3D game. It has a special FX chip that's in this. So you can play it, has like special graphics for the Super Nintendo. Not quite as good as what they have nowadays, but man, when you talk about fun, I'm talking about Star Fox. Oh, that is just so awesome. I can't believe we got Star Fox. Me too. That is awesome. Man, this is just this is just doing great. Let's see what else we find. This is just cool. All right. Feels like a N Nintendo 64 game. Oh, we're all over the place on Nintendo. Star Wars Episode One Racer. It's a racing game from Star Wars. It's the first episode of the first season. <laughs> Not exactly. It's from episode one, The Phantom Menace. That's when they had the pod race. You remember that whenever Luke, or not Luke, Vader, when he was a little boy, when he was on the planet, and they went to go, uh, I don't remember what they were doing off the top of my head. Didn't watch that one a lot. I like the other ones, the older ones. But yeah, this is when they're on the planet, Tatooine, and they're doing all the pod racing. 
I've never played this one, but I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and I love Star Wars games. Are they in the pea pod where the peas come in? The pea pods? Yeah. No, they're just called pod races. Oh. Yeah, not pea pods. Only one person per pod racer, I believe. What? Yeah, just one person per the pod race. All right, so we got another game. That's, that's We're diving awesome. into Nintendo Switch 2. No, these aren't Nintendo Switch. This isn't the new stuff. We're into the old stuff. Yeah. This is retro. This is retro. This is what we're about. This is what I'm about. You're the new stuff. I'm the old stuff. That's fine. So you're the, supposed to be the scientist that goes back in time. I'm supposed to be a scientist that goes in front of time. Where time travels. So I'm Dark Doc Brown and you're Marty McFly? What? Back to the Future. Guess that's something else I'm going to have to make you watch. Maybe. Watched it. <laughs> But it may be confusing to y'all, too. Hmm. I don't know. It's one of the best movies ever made. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's go see what our last game is, okay? All right. This one feels like another Nintendo game. Looks like we're going to be an all-Nintendo game today. And it's... What is it? Deadly Towers. The one I was just mentioning about whenever we were talking about Defender of the Crown. Man, I haven't played this one either. But you know what? Oh wait, maybe I have played this one. It's one of these I've played and one of them I haven't. But this is another one about wizards and warriors and I, I don't know if there's dragon in it, but you know, Dungeons and Dragons and another one. And man, this this game looks like it's almost brand new. Check that out. I mean, it's how smooth that is and clean. Man, Video Games Monthly does a great job making sure that these are in great, great shape. Check that out. Remember, sometimes when you get a game, make sure to look on the back for the captions. Well, it does tell you how to store the game and not to put it in the bathtub. You never want to put your games in the bathtub. Even if you need to clean them, there are special things you need to clean them, not the bathtub. Wow, this is great. Another game, I'm going to put it right there. But man, another game, I eh, can put it over here. Eh, you know what, I don't know. We're going to keep it there. But you know what? Five great games, all of them in great shape. We know Games Monthly hit another one out of the park, just like RBA Baseball. All right, this is just great. What do you think? It is like a super mushroom. <laughs> yes, I guess it is kind of like a super mushroom. Or a star from Super Mario. Then I'm just invincible. That's pretty awesome. Thank you for getting with us at Kismet Arcade. We'll catch you next time.